Hey everyone, so in this video I'd like to go over the delta epsilon definition uh, of a limit to prove a simple limit. So this question says that it wants you to prove the limit as x approaches 4 of the function 2x plus 4 uh, equals 12 and you know it's pretty obvious that we can just plug in 4 and evaluate this limit directly but if we were asked to actually prove this using the definition of a, uh, of a limit, the delta epsilon definition, then it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's not too, too bad if you uh, like understand it a bit better. So I hope that I can explain it in a way that makes a bit more sense. So we essentially, what we want to do from the, from the definition, we want to find, we want to find a delta so that when we take x minus 4, the absolute value of this, if this is less than delta, then the function 2x plus 4 minus what the limit evaluates to, 12. You, that should be less than epsilon for, for all epsilon greater than zero. And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now. I'm much more of a visual person, so let me try to explain this a bit with like a, a, a little visual, okay? So let's say that we've got our Okay, our x and y axes here. This is y, this is x. Okay, and we know that, okay, 2x plus 4 is going to be a linear function. It looks something like this. S something, approximate, right? This is 2x plus 4, okay? I know that, okay, let's just pick a value right here. This is, we'll say 4, okay? And so we know that the limit at that point, the function, very obviously, will be equal to 12, right? Okay, so epsilon is given. We are giving you an epsilon, and the goal is to find a delta. So epsilon is any positive number greater than zero, right? So let's just arbitrarily choose an epsilon. So this would be, you know, 12 plus epsilon. And then here would be 12 minus epsilon. Right? And it looks really, you know, very large right now, epsilon. But that's okay, because it's, you know, we can pick epsilon to be anything. So at this value here, ba, 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 ba. so now these x values here, so this would be like a difference of delta. So this would be like four minus delta. This would be four plus delta, okay? So essentially what the question is saying is it wants you to prove that if I were to give you this kind of like range of what the function can be, you know, 12 plus epsilon, 12 minus epsilon, I need to tell you how small I can make delta so that when I evaluate the function at that point it will give you an output that is within 12 plus epsilon and 12 minus epsilon so it's really just you know how close do I have to be to 4 so that I am within that tolerance of epsilon and the goal is that if I can choose an eps any epsilon greater than 0 so if I can prove that general case um, you know then that means that I could choose epsilon to be 0 0.0001, right? And if I can prove it for the general case, then that would mean that there would be some delta that's very small that would, you know, be within that tolerance of 0 0.0001. So that means I could go so small that I'm so close to 12 that the limit would exist because I could find a delta that's small enough that it would uh, satisfy that tolerance. So... That's basically what it means, okay? So, let's to before we actually start the proof, we need to do a little bit of like a scratch work, 
I'd call it. So remember, we want 2x plus 4 minus 12. We want this to be less than epsilon. This is this is the criterion that we are looking for, right? The function minus the what the limit evaluates to. It needs to be less than that tolerance epsilon, right? So, okay, just uh, simplifying this. 4 minus 12 is minus 8. So we got 2x minus 8 less than epsilon. Okay, I can factor out a positive 2. I'm left with x minus 4 less than epsilon. Divide out the 2. Got absolute value of x minus 4 is less than uh, epsilon over 2. Okay, what this is, if we go back up to our definition, right? We're looking for a delta so that the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta, right? So notice that from our rough work, we have uh, absolute value of x minus 4, right, is less than epsilon over 2, okay? So essentially, we're going to use this as our guess. So we're going to guess that delta will be epsilon over 2. So this is all of the kind of like preamble before the actual uh, rigorous like proof. So we've basically done everything. It's just we need to format the proof properly now. Okay. So we've done all the hard work. Okay. And now it's time just to, just to format the actual proof. So the proof. Okay. So first of all. We're going to let epsilon be uh, any positive number greater than 0. And we will guess that you know delta is equal to epsilon over 2. And keep in mind, this is a greater than 0 as well, right? Because epsilon is positive, dividing by 2. So we're, we're going to take, take a guess that uh, epsilon or delta is epsilon divided by 2. Next, what we're going to do is make an assumption. What we're going to do is assume that x the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta, which is uh, epsilon over 2, right, from our guess, right? So the goal, I'm just going to write it off to the side here, is that uh, we can hopefully get to the point where we can show that that function 2x plus 4 minus what the limit evaluates to is less than epsilon. This is the goal of what we're trying to show. Right? So we've made so we've we've made a guess for de made a guess for delta. Okay? We're going to make this assumption and using this assumption we're going to hope to show that if this is true, then I can show that f of x minus l, which is 12, is less than epsilon. So if that assumption is true, then I can show this. And if hopefully we can show that it's true. If it is, then we're done. So, OK, almost there, right? OK, so what is, OK, 2x plus 4 minus 12, okay? This is just like a, a new line, right? Absolute value of the function minus 12 is equal to, well, okay, we've already kind of done this, right? Remember, this is just 4 minus 12, this is 2x minus 8, okay? And factor out the 2, absolute value, 2 times absolute value of x minus 4. Okay, now look at the assumption that we made, right? Okay. So absolute value of x minus 4, that's got to be less than epsilon over 2, okay? Or in other words, 2 times the absolute value of x minus 4 must be less than epsilon from our assumption. So what we've written, right, what we started with, so we now know that what we got, 2 times absolute value of x minus 4, well, that has to be less than epsilon, right, from the assumption. But 2 times the absolute value of x minus 4, remember what we started with? 
we started with f of x minus the limit. So what we did, we just showed that the absolute value of f of x minus 12, the limit, is equal to, or is less than epsilon, right? So we're actually, we're done the limit. So I guess we can write to be, just to conclude things, thus, if delta, if delta is equal to epsilon over two, then what we showed was that 2x plus four, that function minus the limit L, right? Then this is going to be less than epsilon. Or in other words, the limit as x approaches four of 2x plus four is equal to 12. And that is the end. Oh, and there we go. And that is the end of the proof. Hope that makes a little bit more sense.